Hi, I'm Chef Lou. Welcome to Research Kitchen. Today we're doing double chocolate peppermint bark. Let's get started. Got some semi-sweet morsels, dark chocolate, white chocolate. Put the start with the dark chocolate in there. Put your uh, temperature on low heat, and they will melt quickly. Make sure that it's on low heat, very low, and they melt very quickly. And you just got to keep stirring them up. As you can see them starting to melt, then what you do is you start with your white chocolate. And you add your white chocolate in there. And go from one pan to the other because they melt quickly. And if you don't keep it stirred and keep it turning, um, it will burn. So it's 12 ounces of the uh, both bags of chocolate, white and uh, semi-sweet chocolate, dark, and then two teaspoons of oil, and that's it. And just keep mixing it up, keep stirring it. And this should take uh, probably about uh, four to five minutes. Let's talk why this is melting. Let's talk about the candy canes. I have about a box of candy canes, and I use about maybe four or five ounces. And I take them and I put them in a container. And um, I use a uh, coffee, coffee mug and break them up a little bit. You can see how they broke them up real nice. And that's going to be sprinkled on top uh, before we put it in the fridge. We're about two-thirds of the way there on the, on the chocolate. Make sure all the morsels are totally melted. And you'll notice that the, uh, the white chocolate, for some reason, melts a lot faster than the, uh, the dark. I'm going to turn it off so nothing burns. So I'll just turn everything off. Now we're going to take the chocolate and we're going to spoon it out. And this foil is uh, Reynolds nonstick. That's probably what you want to use. I mean, you could use regular, but the nonstick's nice. And when you go to uh, break the bark off and put it in a pan, it's going to break off real, real easy. It's going to be real nice. Look at that. And then you're going to spread this out. And use two different spatulas. This way you don't, uh, so it stays pretty and stays nice. Because it's all about the look. It's all about how it looks and how it presents. I got most of it out. Look at that. Now, pull this one off, the white, so you don't burn it. My first time I burn it. And you spread this out. See how nice that is? And creamy that is? Doesn't have to go all the way to the edge, but get it, get it pretty close. Look how nice that is. Okay, we're about ready. Then I'm going to put this over here. Don't mix the two, because the chocolate stays on the bottom, and the white chocolate's going to sit on the top. It's going to just, you're just going to float this right on top. Watch this. It's just going to lay right on top. This is so pretty. I actually enjoyed making this, and I'm not a big uh, candy person or a baker. I mean, I love to cook, but uh, I did enjoy it. It was fun. It, uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't take me that long after I did it the first time and screwed it up, but if you don't, if, you, if your temperature's right, you can't screw it up. So start real low, and don't dip too down. Float this on, and you're just going to spread it across the top, so you have two layers. See how pretty that is? Just spread it across the top, just like that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this is just great. And I would uh, just serve it right out of your fridge. Because, you know, the chocolate melts quickly. Okay, see how pretty that is? And just take your edge here and just score it like this. That's it. You're done. Look at that. Now, take your peppermint. I have, I have more than uh, uh, the six ounces. So I just take it. And you put as much as you want. I take it and I just sprinkle this on like that. Look at that. Nice, you know, the pieces don't have to be too big. Make them, you know, however you want them. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, now, this needs to go in the fridge, and it goes in the fridge for about 45 minutes. We're out of the fridge, and we're ready to break it up. Nice, beautiful, nice and crisp, nice and hard, and the piece, and I used, if you noticed, I used non-stick, and look at the foil, came right off. Look at that, Use non-stick, it works out so much nicer. Then just take your pieces, and just break them up, just like that, and put them in a, plastic container so they'll stay nice. You break them up, oh, just so nice. And it just, 
and, and when you take this to a party and people, and you talk to everybody, oh, where did you get that? I made my own. I made my own, and boy, is it delicious. And, and it just looks so pretty. Look at the pieces. Look how nice that looks. So start to finish should take about maybe 20 minutes from the start to the finish. Um, well, 45 minutes in the fridge, but um, you know, once it's done, it just sits in the fridge. And those small pieces down there, you just pick them up and eat them. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next time.